Hello and welcome, Susie Stitcher here. Um, my name is Sue and I come from the South East in Bevershire in the United Kingdom. I have got Wally Lane beside me. Let's see, he's awake. Do you want to come up on walls and say hello? Come on. He's laying on his back for a belly rub. Come on, that's a good boy. You want to see public? Oh, <laughs> so. He's Wally. Say hello, boss. Say hello. Look at that face. Mwah. Oh, he's gorgeous. So there you go. What are you saying hello? Yeah. Yeah? Good boy. Good boy. So do you disturb me? There you go. Yeah? Do you fans? Do you want to go on my lap? Do you want to go back in your space? There you go then. Good boy. So, um, I'm going to speak to you some about something before I get on with the crafty. I actually talked to Beth about this yesterday. Um, last week really wasn't a good week for me. And um, I was in a lot of pain and I have bouts of very low energy. It's an effort to do anything and I'm tired. They did found on my last bloods that anemia was there. Um, and they were going to see on my next bloods, which is I have done on Friday and the consultant rings me next week. Um... So I don't know whether it's to do with that, but it really got me down. And by the beginning of this week, <clears throat> I've had the same again. And a lot of the time, just had to go to bed. Um, also, I'm having my thyroid blood test again. She wanted to leave for two months before and see what the next result will be. Um, depending then from that, whether they'll put me on some medication. So I don't know if some of that is in there. So all of those blood tests are being done on Friday. So I know I do these um, videos or vlogs every two weeks on a Wednesday. And... I did get a bit upset yesterday because um, Beth said, how are you doing with the vlogs? And I said, I'm thinking of just coming away from it because of my health. Um, and I don't know, you know, I could be like I was the other day today. I'm in pain. Um, but my energy levels aren't where they should be, but they're better than what they were on Monday. But it's a point of, I know I'm just sitting here talking, but when I'm in that really bad way, I just wouldn't be able to do it. And it's, like I said, whatever I do, it's an effort even to get out of bed. So... Beth said, rather than just stop it all together, because I do enjoy them and I love doing them. And I've made so many lovely friends through it. To just no, not give a date of when I'm doing it. When I'm feeling okay, then I'll put one out. So I'm not cutting completely off from it. Um, and Beth said, you know, she doesn't want me to do that if I cut off and then think, why did I do that? So I think that's a really good idea what she said. So that's what I'm going to do. So rather than say to you, I'll see you in two weeks time. When I put a video out, I'll put a video out. Um, so, you know, you'll still see... When I've done crafting, you'll see it. Um, 
and it, I won't have lost you. So I hope you'll, you know, understand about that. Um, but I've got to think of my health. So let's leave that now and let's get on to crafting. So um, it's all again a mishmash here. So first of all, before I start thinking about it, um, I want to say to Sarah, hi, Sarah. I hope you're feeling better than what you were and um, sending my love and sending a hug. And to also Jane, I hope you're in a better way than what you were too. So kisses to both of you. So let's get on to that crafting. So the first thing um, I've done a bit of is this. I know I've shown you this before. Um, oh, I've had it a couple of years. And I do a bit and I leave it and I go back to it. So, yeah, I've gone back to it again. But I painted where I should have painted. But I'm thinking, rather than leaving this like it is, I'm thinking of putting a very pale green as for grass in there. Um... Yeah, it's just something I think it'll look really nice. So that's my idea. So this is from, as you can see, the stitchery. Nikki Franklin. So as you can see, what how much I've done so far. There's the big, is it skip, skip? I think it is. Let me know if I'm wrong. Um, I'm on. I've done one apple tree. Um, I've had a break from French knots, and I'm just outlining the greenhouse now. But as you can see, I've paint. I love doing this. I really did. So yeah, I might um, finish the outline on here put that other tree in um, and then do the pale green before I start anywhere else. But let me know what you think. But I said, I want it a pale green. So yeah, so you know, like that tone, not dark. So that's that. And now the threads, the threads are so pretty. Look at those colors. Really pretty. And this comes with the kit. So that's that. Uh, that in there. I just love the folder too. Look at that. Really pretty. There. Um, let's go on to Flory. Oh, she's lost her crown. Ooh. So this is Angels Among Us. Um, it's an apron kit you get every month. And... Uh, this goes up to August is my last payment. And this is the spring one. Let's put a crown on. I think I'll have to um, stitch it on. But she keeps losing it. So there she is. It's her wings. And here's spring. I'm so pleased with it. I really am. So that one's completed. 
in time. So the next one is Easter. It is so cute. So all I've done so far, where did I put it? Is the grass. So um, I've just got to stitch that and then I can put the next part on. As like I said, I don't know if I'll get this done for Easter, but it's fine. It'll be ideal for next year. So there's, you know, I, I just can't rush myself at the moment. But they are really lovely to do. And they're from Liberty Bell. This is Pretty Fabrics and Trims, which was last year's um, kit I was doing. And I still got to do November and December, then make the book, the fabric journal. This is November's. haven't done many trees um whoop. it's just there i'm working on oh wait a minute so yeah crafting I finished him um I've still to name him but I am really pleased with him so I've started on the jumper so this is from cool crafting Two. So you make the sleeves, you make the back and the front, and then you work in the round. So there's the design on the sleeves. And so I'm working in the round. You can see it there. It's going to look so cute. It really is. Okay. So, yeah, not too far to go now on that. Um, so let's show you. I'll find where I've put it now. Yeah, also... Um, as you see on there, he's got a little button on that. So you work that as you're going in the round. So there it is. So yeah, I can't wait to complete this and put it on him. And I'm going to make him some cool trousers. And I'm also thinking of uh, making some Wellingtons for him. Um, and like when I made the cap for Fig, 
I think, well, I don't know. I think he'd look quite cute with a cap on. But we'll see, we'll see. So, yeah, really, really pleased with that. Right. Um, oh, another bit of embroidery. I forgot, I haven't been showing you this. I keep forgetting. So this is the Kathy Smith's um, fabric panel. And that... The actual panel you buy from Spoonflower, it's in the USA. Um, but the delivery you pay is that and you don't get the extra VAT on the when it arrives over here. I think it was like $6.99, if I remember. Um, so I've kept up to date with it. Something behind it. Uh, what can we do? So that was January's. February's, so I've completed that one. And on the leaves it's satin stitch. You've got stem stitch, um, back stitch, you can see running stitch, French knots. So the next one obviously is March, um, but I'm trying to work out. Oh, it might actually, I'm not sure if it might be this one. So I have to say, she has her videos there to show you anyway. So um, I should go on there when she brings out the next one, just to make sure it is um, correct. And that one's going to be a cushion panel, but you can buy um, the X next size, which will be to make a quilt. And you use, um, they had red, like a dark, a dark blue, I think it was navy, or the avocado, which I'm working on now. Right. Um, oh yeah, that. I mean, that's the book for that. Put it all together. Um, so, cross stitch. I went on to the Hawk Run Hollow, and like like I said to be last time, I'd gone wrong, picked it back. I started back on it, and it, I mean, I'm working on fourteen count. And I went wrong again and I've unpicked it, but I'm a little bit deflated. <laughs> I will be doing it, but I'm going to have a break. Um, I'm just, well, I'm feeling as well at the moment. It's just deflated me. So it's still here, but yeah, I'm just going to have a break and go back to it when I'm in a better, better frame of mind. So... I have been working, I did a cup, a little bit of the, oh, what was she called? It was the Hands Across the Sea. I can't remember, but you'll, if you watch my last video, I was, it was, I was showing you on there. Um, but I did a, just a small amount, so it's not even worth showing you. But. One I was thinking of the other day, says, I can't remember where I got this from. It was off Etsy. There's the, so pretty, little scissors on there. But she is so cute. Just Nan. And there's a few of these. Um, I really like the Halloween one and there's the Christmas one. I've had this a few years. So I pulled it out and started it. These are the threads, they're DMC. Some I was lucky enough I had in my stash. So they're the ones on the bobbins there. 
But look at those colours, so pretty. I've got but it's a lovely little design um and so far I haven't gone wrong <laughs> so but yeah I really love that so cute so that's that and she came with um all the bits to make her up let's get it out this yeah i got this off one two three stitch but say this was quite a few years ago but she, look you can see her crown the towel little bees to add to it so yeah So, The Nature's Walk by Sandra Paul, Cherry Hart. So, I'm using my Burr Street Yarns Advent um, that I had December, just gone. So, I've done my third lot. And there's five more sets to do. But I said there's no rush with this. It's I do it when I you know feel I want to do it. Look at that blue, it's so pretty. And this is their autumn theme, which is very apt because I love autumn. So yeah, that's coming on nicely. The next thing is in there. Um, you remember me saying that I found cardigan pattern that I wanted to do and Paula from Stitch by Mrs D did it, was it the year before last and um, when she showed it at that time I got the magazine and it was Rowan So number 65, let's find it for you. It's this one. So like Paula, I'm not having the design on the back or the sleeves, just on the front. And it asked, I think it was Rowan Tweed, but um, I got a, a King Cole one and the price was, it was so, Good. no I didn't get it my ex got it for my birthday but the price was so good for a hundred grand ball I think it was two pounds something and oh my the yarn is beautiful it's lovely to knit with highly recommend it and I got that from is it the knitting network but yeah highly recommend it and um, so These are the colours. This is my main colour. Whoop. That's my main colour. And these are for all parts of um, like the toadstool. But oh, it's beautiful. So it's King Cold Tweed. And that's a hundred grand ball. So I definitely knit 
make something else with this again. Um, yeah. Oops, got caught there. Top. And here it is. So, Davi in our little workroom crafts bag. This is fabric that I sent to her. I thought I'd sent her enough to make a bag for herself, but there wasn't. Um, but I love it. There it is. So this is the back. I haven't got too far to go now to um, get to the armholes. But look at that. It's, like it's, it's knitting up beautifully, it really is. And for the price and how much Rowan is to buy, it's not cheap. Um, but it was just so lovely of my ex to get that for my birthday. It really was. So, yeah. <laughs> Whenever Evie's here and she spots these, she loves these. She really does. She goes, I love them, Nanny. Um, yeah, who'd have thought? Little thing like that but she's got good taste. And Evie loves her mittens that I made her. She honestly, she's still in her coat. She wears them. So yeah, um, I'm really glad I made them for her. Right, uh, something I also, I showed you this a while ago. Um, and obviously it went upstairs, but I've brought it back down. It's mini treasure, tre treasures. So the Bob, uh, the, I was going to say Bobby patch, Bramble patch. They made, um, proper big quilts and they made a mini quilt from that big quilt. They had a few designs. Anyway, I chose this one. And you get everything in there to make the quilt. So this is the design. This is English paper piecing. And it's the Ribbon Star Astra by Janet Clare. I'm sure quite a few of you have heard of that. Oops, Daisy. So you get your graph paper to make your templates and these are the fabrics, so pretty they really are, look at that, it's that one there, let's have a look, you get quite a few, you really do. And I, oh, this was this. I remember this was really quick delivery. You can see them. There you can. There you go. Some of them are two of the same. I mean, my colours, oh, sorry about that, have changed a bit as time's gone on. And at one time, I'd never think of getting something like this. Never. But 
I really love it. I think it's really nice. Um, really looking forward to starting it. And it's something that will be just sitting here. And when I feel like doing a little bit of it, then I'll do a bit, little bit, like I do with my other things, um, the way I've been feeling. Um, but yeah, really excited to start that. I might start doing the templates um, a bit later, see how I feel. And this is the background. It's going to be so nice, it really is. So as you know, it's my it was my birthday this month, and um, the day before my birthday, Abby redid my nails for me, and I wanted something for the start of spring. So this is what she did. So pretty, really is. So yeah, that was a nice treat. So, um, just to think what, um, oh yes, so Abby got me this, I actually had this on my, my wish list. Uh, I've been wanting it for a while, but oh my, it's such a lovely Book. I don't know if you've got this, Rachel, um, but oh, just, I mean, look at that. So pretty. Oh, I love this, look. There is so much in here. So if you're a beginner, this is ideal, it really is. Little bag there. It, you know, it tells you how to do it. Pretty. My colours too. But it's got all the techniques in here. So yeah, highly recommend it. It's Jessica Alexandric Kiss. I hope that's the word. Right. But yeah, highly recommend. So yeah, that happy bunny getting that. So hello. So this is what Beth bought for me for my birthday. Here it is. So she got me this lovely clock with the day and the day, um, which I keep in the kitchen. And it's just brilliant. So you just press the button to change uh, the day. And it has got an alarm clock on it. And she got me a set of the four of these daisy coasters. Look at those, aren't they cute? And this beautiful flower pot. But... Yeah, I've got plants to put in it, but I want to get another plant, especially for this flower pot. Um, so when I am out and about, 
I should get a plant to put in there, but isn't it gorgeous? Look at that. So pretty. So yeah, that's what Beth bought me. Um, I had from a friend that I used to work with, um, she lives about 11 miles from me, um, but we keep in touch with each other. She came to a um, tea party for my 60th that Abby invited her for a surprise. It was lovely to see her. She is so lovely. And she sent me a uh, cream tea from um, Devon. And it was all in this box. So you had your scones, your clotty cream, oh, the clotty cream, jam, um, tea, and there were some brownies in there. Oh, it was be It was absolutely beautiful. And she also sent me a key ring separately um, about friendship. And uh, honestly, she's so lovely. So yeah, that was really nice. Um, and I had Mila stay the night before my birthday through obviously to the morning. So we had a cream tea together and it was lovely, really, really lovely. And she enjoyed it. Um, I had candles and this lovely notepad. Look at that from, um, Abby's mother-in-law, Sonia. Sonia, if you're watching, thank you so much. It's just so, and the candles, a beautiful scent. But look at that. That is me, isn't it? Um, the lovely Pauline, um, hi Pauline, got me a cool crafting voucher. And um, I'm really thinking Pauline of getting the duck because that was the surprise one, surprise box, December just gone. And I've really got my eyes on that. So it might be the duck that I'll put that to Pauline. But that really lovely of you. And um, <laughs> Angela from Australia, she sent um, two little notepads of stickers for the girls with their names on. Really, really lovely. So kind. Hi, Angela. She got me this tea towel. Look how cute. I haven't took it out yet. I just love it. And you can see he's a big size. Look at it. You can see. It's going to be a big size. It's too good to use, honestly. Um, oh, nice. Look. This is me. It really is. So pretty. Um, but this is the one I'm going to start. Simply homespun. Is it homespun? Yeah. But look. This is so machine of chicks. So pretty. So I thought, oh, I'm going to show it on here. And then this is, I'm going to take this upstairs and go through my fabrics um, to start sorting out to make this. Just so pretty. So Angela, thank you so much. Really, really kind of you. Honestly, thank you. So honestly, I was so well and truly spoiled. So I think that is it. I really do. The other thing, I completed it yesterday, was a spring wreath for my front door. So the wreath was um, from Hobbycraft, which I had in my stash well, for a couple of years. And it's like an oval one. And I crocheted little petals to put round it. Yellow was the main colour. And then I put some little pinks in there and look about like a primrose. 
and then the leaves and then i'll put a little green a couple of green bows on it um so it's up on my door i was going to wait till the first of march but i just couldn't wait so my heart my quilted hearts have come down and i've put it up but i'll take a picture and i will insert it here but i'm so pleased with it um yeah i i mean i autumn is my favorite season but i do like spring my daffodils have just started to come to the garden actually i'll take a photo of that as well for you um it's just i think that's going to help me as well um i know i say the um no energy is to do with my health but you understand when you got that you know nice the flowers are coming through the blossoms my magnolia tree you can see the blossoms you know all tight and ready um yeah it's just nice it really is nice so that is it and like i said i'm not gonna say when my next one will be when i'm feeling up to it and i think oh actually you know what i'm gonna do a video i should be doing a video vlog so i hope you're all okay um take care and really thank you for watching and i really hope you understand so for now